This right here is what we call good living. We are in Kileleshwa, in this twin tower development that highly stands out everywhere in Kileleshwa. So this uh, twin tower development offers over 40,000 square feet of amenities. Imagine that. So currently we are in this game room that as you can see has this pool table right here so we have two of them if you're like me and you'd like to relax on the weekends you like to play some games your kids like to play some games everyone is catered for so in this specific area we have these two pool tables we have a fastball right here so for football lovers you are catered for we have two of them right here again we have that's right there only that i didn't have the the, the pin to throw right there but i'm very good at uh, that again we have a table tennis right here so if you're like me and you like to relax a lot everyone and everything is catered for because we have a wide range of amenities including a swimming pool including a play area and i'm going to show you all of that so from this uh, game room right here we have a seven hole uh putting green right here so it's kind of like a mini golf here yeah? if you like to play with your friends you like to have the experience of playing in a golf and maybe you can't access be able to access the area where you or the, maybe the club that you go to you can easily come over here and enjoy some time with your boys with your friends so that is catered for and interestingly enough if you have maybe a drone or if you are on a higher level this area right here whatever they've done right here actually reads the name of the project that we are in that is very creative so from the golf area we go right ahead to a state-of-the-art movie theater now it sits 12 so if you are maybe like to watch a movie over the weekend with your family you are catered for right here This right here is a state-of-art movie theater that is not uh, always found in other projects. It's only found in this project in Kileleshwa. So one thing that stands out when you get into this theater right here is this, is this uh, star sky ceiling. I mean, it stands out. It's very vibrant for movie theater. Again, one thing I like about this area is that we have a surround sound system all around. So again, you know, when you're listening to movies, you want to get the clear sounds as they're coming from the whatever movie you're watching again we have a 7d projection right here so the movies are going to be very clear uh, the noise is going to be uh, the, the, the the sound is very nice again uh, the theater seats seven people uh, 12 people so again if you're a family of seven if your friends are over you can always book th uh, this theater right here we have a system for booking so maybe you're given a maximum of two to three hours to watch whatever movies you're watching again you can see the seats are very comfortable if you have your teas if you have maybe your water right here we have the place uh, cup holders right here so it's a very comfortable movie theater and it is one of the amenities that is really selling off this project again you don't find it in any other project other than this so let's go and check the rest of the amenities So from the indoor game area and the movie theater that we have there, we have this workstation right here. So there are four of them in this project. 
again if you have meetings at home if you're if you're maybe working from home you have an allocation right here no need to stress about where you're going to hold your meetings and it's very comfortable as you can see and again it's soundproof so when you're there only uh, and you're holding your tops no one ha uh, gets to hear whatever conversations you're having so that's the meet uh, the working session right there again we have the washrooms right here so if you're working from there that is catered for no need to go back to the house just to be able to maybe uh, relieve yourself we have this social hall right here so if you're holding uh, birthday parties if you're holding uh, celebrations if you're holding maybe meetings chamas things like that you can invite people in here and you all you have to do is book the place again another working station right here i love the design of the african uh, the continent of africa that they put up on the wall it's very creative it's uh speaks uh, nicely about the developer again that we'll have a salon that will be right here i mean in this project what you can gather is that everyone is catered for people of all ages whatever your lifestyle is everyone is catered for so instead of going outside for the ladies if you want to get your hair done or undone we'll have a salon that will be right here again we'll also have a pharmacy farm plus will set base here so again maybe you have a headache if you want to grab some quick uh, over-the-counter medicine that is catered for so i mean i think the idea of this project is to have everything in one place so you don't have to worry about going outside of the project So from Tower A, we are going to move to Tower B. And before we move there, you're going to notice this space that separates the two towers. So we have a heated swimming pool. As you can see, we have a baby pool right here and it's quite big and not that deep. So the kids have a, a place to swim. And then we have this, it's kind of like an, an Olympic size swimming pool. It's very big and deep for the swimmers in the house. You are catered for. And on this side of this uh, area, we have an amphitheater. So if you feel like you need to sit outside, maybe hold meetings again, that is catered for so i like this space uh, and the design of the towers if you look up you're going to notice it's a very unique design so this project clearly stands out in kileleshwa and in the swimming area you'll find that most projects just provide a swimming pool but they, they don't provide an area where you can rest but this is catered for so we have the sun beds right there and the shades so when you're relaxing when you want to soak in some sun and maybe to cool off or dry off that is catered for so move with me let's go to the other tower and see again some of the amenities provided which is different from what is what is in this tower then from there we'll move in to show the house So like I said, this project caters for people of all ages and different lifestyles. So if you're like me and uh, you like to work your workout sometimes just to uh, get uh, toned, get fit, or maybe for your mental health, you know, uh, that's a big thing. So that is catered for. I like the way this gym is fully equipped. Ladies, you want to tone your arms. Everything is catered for here. As you can see, we have the treadmills right there. If you want to work your shoulders, you want to work your backs, everything is catered for. And I like the space that is in here. So you don't have really to hit into each other or to get into each other's spaces when you're working out. I like the lighting. So it's um, kind of a rustic design. So from the gym area we have a yoga area or zumba you know if you also prefer to do the light exercises maybe do some dancing to lose some weight or to keep fit we have this allocation right here again you're going to notice the wooden floors you're going to notice the space it is well we have the mats here we have the weight the light weights here we have yeah so it's kind of equipped for whatever again a use you want to use it for and as you're going to notice again it's all the amenities right here cater for different 
people we have, we've seen uh, adults the men right there you have the golf women right here we have the zumba area the pool area for the kids and there's more for the kids as well so follow me let's see the rest of what uh this uh, ground floor has to offer like i said we have the workstation so we saw two on that side we have a workstation right here again can be used at uh, whatever time you prefer we also have a sauna and steam room so we have different we have for the men is separate for the women is separate as well and i'm going to take you guys to the women's uh sauna and steam room so it's currently being worked on so there's a lot of work going on here but we have the uh washrooms right here on this side and we have the rooms on this other side which are, we, we are not going to be able to see because they are currently doing the electrical works but that is uh what that has to offer we also have the men's right here but i'm not going to go inside but just so you know that is uh right there so this is the lift area for this uh block and then you have a different lift area for the other block on this other side we have the other children's play area like i said uh we'll have art cafe setting base here So they've set everything up uh if you again if you have guests or if you yourself is feeling it's a lazy kind of day and you don't want to prepare some breakfast or some lunch that is catered for so you can just come down from uh, whichever floor you're staying in uh get you to this this cafeteria right here and enjoy a meal instead of staying hungry the whole day another thing we have a daycare here so for mothers in the house you know maybe you have small kids you uh you maybe you don't have anyone or you don't have households in your house we have this right here so you can bring them over here uh, leave them for a while get to do your job get to hold your meetings get to do some laundry although for the laundry part again it is catered for because we'll have lorenzo dry cleaners setting camp in here so if you want to have your laundry done that is going to be catered for so you can leave your kids here maybe go some have some chill time go do some zumba as you relax and enjoy your time and aside from that we also have an outdoor play area for the kids again it's very big so for the small kids so maybe like um up to two years those who are quite small they have this area right here so it's it's covered so that they don't have to come outside but it's big it's quite enough again you can trust uh four year olds to play with two year olds because maybe sometimes they can be a bit rough but that is catered for for the small kids that is their place and then we have the big kids you know those who are a bit grown that is catered for so we have a trampoline right here i like the way that they put the grass right here so they don't have to fall on concrete as they run around as they jump around we have the swings right there we have the slides right there i mean it's a really beautiful area that caters for everyone and maybe as the house helps or if you yourself is maybe watching over them out here we have a shade right here so you can just sit here and uh, watch over them as you maybe read your books as you scroll through your phones i like the fact that we have that there and we have a shade right here so we are going to put seats right here so you can choose wherever place you want to sit tomorrow feels a year away like the seconds the beginning in the end uh, but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again so we have a jogging track on basement two of this project if you want to jog around and maybe as you think about things that has been catered for so this is what forty thousand square feet of amenities looks like and you're going to notice that every age group is catered for so aside from that i'm going to show you the house and i believe you're going to like it because taste and uh finishing has really been considered even space everything like there's nothing to not to like about this project so come with me let's check out the house So we are finally done with showcasing the amenities area that I'm pretty sure that you, the viewer, has enjoyed watching because we have so much to offer and now we are in this four bedroom 
house that is 2916 square feet and only cost 361,000 USD to own this house and to have access to the amenity area because that is exclusive to the resident so if you live here you can easily access whichever uh, amenity that you want at any given time and that is one good thing i like about this project so i'm going to showcase this four bedroom that is all in suit so we have ex exclusive uh, brands that have been used in this uh, project that means we'll deliver a good quality for that price that we are uh, asking you to pay for the house so as you can see we have a quartz granite countertop that is very easy to clean for the kitchenware we've used uh, electrolux which is a sweden a good sweden brand for the sanitary uh wares we've used uh color which is a u.s uh, brand so we've used uh, good uh, brands we've used uh we've made the house in such a way that it has a lot of space it's all in suit we have so much to offer so at the end of the video, I'd like you to comment and tell us if you think uh, this house and the, all the amenities that you've showcased is worth the price. So to start us off, we'll start at the entry porch of the house and we've used a solid mahogany door all the way from Congo. So, so it's not easy to break into this house right here. And as you get into the house, we have the guest room that is here. So it's all in suits again. Uh, you're going to notice that the tiling here is ceramic but it's easy to clean and uh, it has a wood finish again giving the um, giving the room a, a nice uh, brown touch and feeling of warmth into the house we have a window right here that allows in natural lighting to get into the room again you can see we have a five by six bed with two bedside drawers uh, drawers that fit in perfectly so this is enough for a guest to stay here and we have a storage right here i'm going to close this door so that you can have a look we have the cabinets right here so they can store their clothes and they feel it's enough because again i believe they're not staying for a long time so they can easily use this to put whatever items that they prefer and i really like the fact that it goes all the way from top to bottom so saving on uh, the space that you're going to require again it's in suit so we have this led mirror that is right here we have this uh, vanity sink right here and we have uh, storage so they want to store their items their shavers their creams they can easily use this right here we have um, uh, the toilet seat right here again with a bidet again catering for all the uh, different people like i said when we were down there so that is catered for you have a tissue holder right here and you're going to notice that the assistants are all uh, are all inbuilt so it gives the toilet a clean finish so we have this uh, shower cubicle right here again water doesn't spill out when you're taking a shower i like the fact that it's raised here so water doesn't again spill out to the other side of the bathroom when you're taking a shower i like the silver finish for the handheld shower the shower head again all uh, color brands they are really nice brands and i like the fact that it uh, tells here and i sleep again preventing any accidents happening when you're bathing or when you're taking a shower one thing you're also going to notice is that you have a window that opens outside allowing in aeration um, and uh, again we don't want any molds forming in the bathroom so this is it for the guest bedroom remember this is a four bedroom the rest of the rooms are on the other side of the house so giving you privacy maybe if you have a guest over they can easily have their private moment on this side as the rest of the people stay on the other side so from the entry uh, area we have this the living room area and it, as you can see it's uh, quite big currently it sits like a seven seater but again even bigger seats uh, can fit easily in here i like the space i like the lighting from the uh glass door that you have right here and one thing i should uh mention is that it is double glazed so it is soundproof you're not going to hear any noises from the outside so when whenever maybe it's raining or we have uh, maybe because it's maybe a bit closer to the road it's not a busy road though uh, you're not going to hear any noises maybe when you're sleeping when you're having your conversations right here so we have this uh, space uh, it's quite big for a family to fit in here and on this side of the wall you're going to notice the light fixtures that are on the wall they are quite nice 
so this uh, tv wall right here is uh, well done again you can fit a 75 inch television set right here because i feel like if you have a big space like this you wouldn't want to put a smaller tv here it's going to look funny so that is it for the sitting area it's well aerated it's well lit both uh, naturally from outside because you can see we have a lot of uh, natural lighting and again at night we have a lot of light lighting fixtures So as we move on, you're going to notice that the tiles are porcelain tiles. They're quite nice. They're bright and nice. They uh, give a, a vibrant feeling to the house because bright colors kind of make the house look more vibrant. So that's the tiling that we've used and it's quite easy to clean. We've used it in all the areas except for the bedrooms where we've used the ceramic tiles. So this is the kitchen area. We've used uh, quartz granite, which is very easy to clean. It's quite expensive. And as you can see, I like the space that we have here. So you can easily uh, have someone sit here as they take their quick breakfast. As you prepare breakfast on this other side, again, we have these nice down lighters right here. So you can easily, uh, during the night, it's going to give a nice finish again. If you notice all around we put a lot of counter space so there's a lot of working area that has been given we also provide all the kitchen appliances that have been put like i said it, it's uh, electrolux which is a uh, good sweden brand so we have the hob right here we have a uh, five burner this is a five burner cooker right here we do have a dishwasher right here that is part of the house again we have a nice sink right here it's very big and wide so cleaning is going to be easy and I feel like another thing that has been uh, makes this house sell fast is this space that we have right here. We have a lot of families because a four bedroom is probably going to be taken by a family kind of uh, setup. So this is enough for them to have the house house or even the whoever cooks in the house. It's easy for them to move around and maneuver the house. Like it's very fluid. You won't be knocking into each other as you're moving around in the kitchen again you notice that you have a lot of storage that has been provided you want to put your cutlery you want to put your dishes there's a lot of space that has been provided right here so we won't have although as much as we have this space right here we also have a pantry which i'm going to show you later on and i like the organization on this shelf so you have a location to put your forks you have a location to put your knives that like everything has been considered right here and i like the soft clothes as you can see so we have we have no banging uh of of uh, the, the cabinets as they are closing and opening so that is a uh, good enough storage so we also have uh, a lot of storage here at the top and like i said we have a very soft clothes so no banging and i like the fact that they don't have handles so it gives the kitchen a neat uh, finish as you can see again you do have a window right here so it's easily you can easily open it to have uh, aeration when you're cooking as much as we have a hob you can easily open this uh, to have aeration and to have lighting and another thing i like about this specific house is that they put into consideration that sometimes we do have fire breakouts or maybe gas leaking in the house and because of that we installed this right here so this right here is going to notify you in case we have any gas leakages within the kitchen area. So that's it for the kitchen, but we do have this side. So to start us off is this wine cellar that we have here. So if you're a wine lover, if you like to maybe display them right here, we have this uh, that has been put uh, right here. I think they're all empty, but if you talk to us nicely, we can fill them up for you. So this is part of the house. And again, we have the oven and the microwave. Again, same brand, Electrolux. And it's quite nice. I like the fact that they are all black. So that is part of the house. You don't need to worry about buying any kitchen items except the fridge that is going to be placed right here. And you can see the space is big, so you can fit a double door fridge right here perfectly. And that's the only thing that will require for you to buy again. A lot of storage has been provided all the way on this side of the kitchen and on that side of the kitchen. So I, I don't think uh, anyone can complain about storage in this area. Plus on top of that, we do have the pantry. Yeah, so if you want to store your extra, extra, um, items if you want to put your maybe 
I don't know your potatoes or whatever you like to put here we have a lot of storage in the kitchen so that's it for the kitchen area we are going to go to this side of the house and this is where we have the DSQ so it's uh, uh, detached DSQ in the essence that you have this door that leads to the outside so if you need your uh, uh, your housemaid to access the house maybe when you guys are not around they can easily do that using this uh, side of the house or maybe if they're bringing in staff uh, when you have guests seated at the living room area and you don't need your guest thing whatever you're buying they can easily access the house through this point so this is the laundry area we have a location uh, where you can put the gas cylinder outside again it's more safer to put the gas cylinder outside than in the kitchen so this is the wash area we have uh, some allowance at the rooftop to hang your clothes but you can uh, easily put maybe your dry what do you call them your washing machine or the, your washing dryer on this side of the house so from the wash area we have the sq that is big as well this one can fit a three by six bed it's uh, quite nice again it's a suit so you'd want them to have their own privacy and be able to do their stuff when they're not working so it's a suit they have the shower cubicle right there they have the toilet seat and the wash basin and again they have a window right here so we won't have uh, any molds forming in the bathroom so we've seen the dsq area we've seen the kitchen area we're going to start uh we are going to check out the dining area we, we, which we've not had a look at so from the kitchen area we do have these bastos that you can easily use maybe for quick uh breakfast or lunch and we have an allocation for a dining area so it's quite private uh from the lounge area and it's quite big right now we put a six seater but uh i think maybe an eight seater an eight seater can fit as well perfectly and the good thing i like about this is that you have the separation right here so it's easy maybe if you yeah if you still want to uh have some, a bit of privacy not a lot a bit of privacy from people sitting seated in the sitting area this one serves the purpose again uh we have a lot of natural lighting imagine from this side of the house to that side of the house and to the bedroom that's the balcony which i'm going to show you in a few but we have a lot of natural lighting coming into the house and that is what i like most about this so we are going to uh, check out the balcony area so we are in the balcony area and this is only the first balcony so it's accessible to anyone who's in the dining area and anyone who's in the lounge area but we do have another balcony in the second bedroom and in the primary bedroom which i'm going to show you and i like the fact that they've even reinforced the balconies they're so thick the glass is so thick and they've reinforced it to ensure that you don't have any incidences happening here so i'm going to go uh, up to this side so that you can see the balcony is quite long and you really enjoy nice views of kilimani on that side of Kileleshwa on this side I mean you can even uh, see the Ngong Hills from the balcony area so it's quite nice I like the Makyu this is uh, the one of the tallest buildings in Kileleshwa it has a really unique design I like the aeration that comes in as you're here in the balcony so you can soak in the sun but there's a lot of uh, maybe when the sunlight outside you can easily have conversations from here I like the way the balcony is wide as you can see on that side you even have a space to put a hammock you can put extra seats on here you can put maybe like a table like this and uh, maybe uh, read the gazette or maybe drink coffee as you have conversations from here or as you just relax so we are going uh, to go in and check out uh, the first bedroom So uh, from the dining area and the kitchen area we're going to move to the powder room which is the visitors washroom so again uh, we have a sink right here uh, we have the storage right here we have an LED mirror right there so they can even use that we have the the fact uh, one thing I like about this is that the powder room is so wide in most projects you find that it's just a small room but for this one it's very wide so Again, catering for everyone. We have a bidet right here. 
we have the toilet seat right here and i like the fact that the uh, cistern is inside it's inbuilt so it it the fact that it's not protruding outside gives the it feel it makes the the washroom feel a bit bigger again you have this casement window right here that opens outside allowing in natural lighting and allowing in aeration which is very important especially in washrooms so that's it for the powder room and you're going to move to the first bedroom which is also a suite and when you get into the bedroom the first thing that you uh, come across is this um, washroom right here so it has again its own uh, toilet we have the storage right here a sink and uh, more storage cabinetry down here so you can put your creams and I like the fact that they're easy to open i like the led mirror it's quite big and wide we have the toilet seat right here we have the shower cubicle very thick glass and i like the the the, the fact that it's lift, it's lifted from the bottom so again what i want to be sleeping to the other side of the toilet yeah and again uh, it's well done it's well finished you have a lot of natural lighting the handheld shower they're all in place like nothing is everything feels neat in this house the bathrooms feel uh, neat and they're well done the the window is quite big as you can see so it's going to be easy to open and forward and you'll have a lot of uh, aeration coming to the into the house So we are in the first bedroom and, and as you can see it's big until even we have a uh, like a location to, we have space to put a chair right here so this is the five by six bed right here and it's quite big with two bedside drawers on both sides and a chair on this side but i feel like maybe you can add a dressing table on this corner of the house and uh, of the room i'm sorry and you're going to notice that we have an indoor walking closet so it's a literal walk-in closet and it has a lot of space all the way from the top to the bottom we have this closet space right here and it's enough to put uh, whatever clothes you're using it's enough storage right here and one thing i like about this is the fact that we have lighting here you'll find that uh, most people will just put a wall all the way to the top but you have lighting in here so during the day it's going to be easy for whoever uses uh, occupies this room to get whatever they're getting out of the closet space so we have an allocation for the closet right there and like i said it has its own balcony so we have a uh, it's, it's a functional balcony a bit uh, small not so small but it's functional so if you want to maybe for the smokers if you want to smoke outside your room this is good enough space if you want to pick phone calls this is good enough space i like the aeration and the breeze on this level of the house so uh, if you notice uh we have like four floors or no five floors of amenities so our first floor doesn't actually start from first floor all the houses are uh, all the houses are lifted so we do have a lot of uh good views of kilelesha and of the neighborhood So we've seen the guest bedroom right at the entrance we are coming up from the first bedroom which is on the right side of the house and on this side of the house we have the uh, primary bedroom and the third bedroom which i'm about to show you but before we go to that point i'd like you to notice the corridors that you've put in place in the whole house so we do have a corridor on that side of the entrance which is good enough space so like guests don't just come in and get into the lounge area they have this uh, kind of like a private area where they don't have to see everything that is happening maybe in the kitchen in the bedroom so that is a good corridor space and it's wide enough and on this side you also have a wide corridor and it is well lit so we don't have to worry about um knocking knocking maybe or maybe when people are passing by like it's, it's a lot of it's a uh, good good lighting for this corridor and we have this wall right here that you can maybe put uh, portraits for the family or whatever items you prefer just to decorate the house so this is the third bedroom again it's all on suite uh, we have uh, cabinets right here i like the fact that for this one they've done the sliding ones so we don't have to open outward 
to save on space so you can put a, a side drawer on both sides of the bed and you won't have to worry about uh, the opening up of the closet so it's good enough space to put again your items to put to fold your items it's good enough space to be used by the one who will be occupying this room but i kind of feel like maybe this could be a baby's room because it's kind of the smallest one in all the rooms so this is good enough space for them to for it to be used and it is on switch again we have an led mirror right here that is big enough even for the babies we have a toilet holder right here we have storage right here so they can put their toothpaste and whatever items you can feel the echo in these rooms that's to show you how big the washroom is so we have the toilet seat right here the system is inbuilt uh, for this one we put uh closing uh shower cubicle again we don't want any water spillages happening outside and again one thing like i said in all the bathrooms they're neatly done everything is put in place perfectly and we have lighting which is important uh, we have a window so no uh, molds forming in the bathroom and that is one thing i i give uh, kudos to the developer of this project because all the washrooms are well done all the rooms are well done all the equipment are well placed so someone somewhere is doing their job and this is the they put a four by six bed here but i feel again because they've not put the side drawers a bigger bed could fit and still put uh, the side drawers and like i said in all the rooms except for the first uh, bedroom which is the guest bedroom we have balconies so this one is a bit bigger and we have sockets right here which are uh you can be able to use if you want to work maybe from the balcony if you want to use your laptop here or your phone we have a location for that again the, the balcony is quite uh, they've really reinforced the glass here so we don't have any incidences happening here and you'll get to enjoy the nice views of the neighborhood the aeration the lighting the sunlight when there is sun so that is one thing that sells this project So that is it uh, for the third bedroom and finally we are going to have a look at the master bedroom which is the last i like the fact that it's the last room on this like it's it's kind of hidden it's more private as compared to the rest of the rooms so to start us off we have these uh, walk-in closets we have a lot of space like all the way to this other side of the room so that's the uh, closest space that we provided for these and i like the fact that they are all the way from the top to the bottom so we don't have any wasted space at the top another thing i like about this is we have this uh, lighting fixture right here so during the night you have a lot of uh, lighting with you if you're picking out your gowns to go out during the evening we've provided the light for you on that side and the washroom is equally big so we have the shower cubicle right here that is uh, big enough to fit uh, anyone who takes a shower here it's quite big i like the fact that everything is standard in all the bathrooms like everything has been put in place perfectly and again we have this uh, lifting right here so water doesn't spill to the rest of the bathroom again we have the wash basin right here that it's quite wide it's actually big and it has storage if you want to put your cream your shavers whatever you want to put yeah we have space for that we have an led mirror right here that lights really well when you're doing your makeup for the ladies for the gents if you're uh, maybe shaving we have that for you so you don't have to worry about uh, not having enough light and we have a tub right here again it's a color brand a good brand if you want to relax maybe in the evening this has been catered for so you can either take a shower you can either relax here and uh, yeah maybe take a bubble bath and enjoy your time and relax as the owner of the house we have a bidet right here we have a, a toilet seat right here and another thing i like about this that is uh, common in all the bathrooms is this uh, window right here the casement window right there so you open it outside have some aeration have uh, a good lighting in the bathroom so from the wash uh, from the washroom and the closet area we have the bedroom itself so as you come in you have this area right here and as you can see we have everything that needs to be in place in a master bedroom so for starters we have this console that has been put right here uh, 
okay personally i would i wouldn't go for this design but a different design can fit as well and we have a mirror right here as much as we have a mirror in the bathroom it's okay to have a mirror right here so that you can maybe have a look yourself as you before you step out of the house so that has been put in there again we have a bedside drawer on this side and on this uh, other side of the bed and they are quite big enough here we have a king size bed and two bedside drawer and you have space to put this so you can imagine how big your space is in the master bedroom again we have a, a, a table right here but i feel like if you feel like this kind of setting is not necessarily uh, pleasant to you you can maybe opt to have a tv uh, seated right here so that you can watch your movies and your shows as you relax uh, with your better half right there and again like i said we have a balcony here in the master bedroom and in all the bedrooms this door is very heavy to pull and like i said it's a double uh it's double glass so we don't really get to hear any noises when you completely lock the door again you have a balcony right here it's a, a bit smaller than what is in the living and the dining area but it's quite functional so you can have your seats placed right here maybe have conversations here if you need some yeah whatever uh, whatever it is that you use the balcony for at least it provided that in all the three rooms and i feel like this space is quite big again we've used uh, ceramic tiles in all the bedrooms that have a uh, wood finish and they are easy to clean they give warmth to the room and we have this space right here where for uh what we are showcasing right now we put uh, portraits of different couples of course so you can use this as a picture wall to put uh, maybe different decorations from here or you can also put your portraits right here so that is what we have for the master bedroom you're going to notice in all the bedrooms we have uh the, all the bedrooms uh, have a lot of natural lighting all the bedrooms have a lot of vibration all the bedrooms are spacious and we have literally four by uh five by six beds in all the rooms except the master bedroom which kind of has a bigger bed so like i said well, we've catered for uh, space we've catered for good finish we've catered for quality finish So that is it for the four bedroom apartments the, that we are currently selling at 361,000 USD. The price is of course negotiable and um, if you are going to, uh, I want you guys to notice the, the way the developer has uh, put a lot of uh, attention to detail in terms of developing this project to ensure your maximum comfort and your well-being of you and the children as you're living here because we've seen the amenities they basically cater for anyone and everyone even when you choose to get old in this house you are obviously catered for the house itself caters for every other person because they are all in suit you don't have to use uh another person's washroom everything is catered for the space is good the lighting is good the finishing has been paid attention to so that is it for the showcase and i hope you like it however uh, let us know in the comment section uh, what you think of the apartment itself what you think uh, we should showcase next and also don't forget to like share and subscribe if this is a, if this is the kind of content you like to watch